Fresno State is aiming to defend their Mountain West Championship title while rebuilding almost its entire offense. Head coach Jeff Tedford is heading into his third season coaching his alma mater and is proud of how far the Bulldogs have come since he took over the program. I'm Tamara Brown in the Mountain West Network studio, counting down to kickoff with the Fresno State Bulldogs. After two outstanding seasons with Fresno State, quarterback Marcus McMarion graduated and a new quarterback must rise to the occasion. Coach Tedford named Jorge Reyna his successor at the conclusion of spring practices. Um, he's been, this is his third year, so he's had some consistency, some continuity uh, with the system and the program. Uh, I think he had a phenomenal opportunity last year to play behind Marcus McMarion because, as you mentioned, it's not just about the physical abilities that Marcus brought to that team. It was the leadership. It was the composure. Uh, all the things that go into it, uh, Marcus couldn't have been a better role model for Jorge. And so uh, I think Jorge has a lot of ability, a lot of skills to do what he needs to do. Um, and I'm excited to see how he progresses here. It's his turn. It's his time. He's, he's been working, you know, his butt off. Uh, he's got a whole new mindset. Uh, he's very determined right now. And he's a, he's a quarterback that's not afraid to take a shot downfield or try to uh, give the, his receiver a chance to make a play on the ball. So um, I can't wait to see what, what he has, has in store for Bulldog football. A key player to watch on offense is Ronnie Rivers. The junior running back notched 743 yards and 10 touchdowns last season, including a 212-yard performance that powered Fresno State to a bowl win over Arizona State. He already has great instincts, football instincts, and he's very smart, very versatile, catches the ball, does all those things. He's just now going to take one more step. And I think he's a really special back with great vision, very tough, has all the ability to make the big play. You know, so he's definitely a guy that we look for big things from him. I think I've grown a lot, you know, just as a player in general, having a different mindset and focus than I did before. Around this time of the year, I was laid up, you know, recovering from injury. So being able to have this whole off season to work out and develop my body and, you know, become more of a well-rounded player, I think has helped me a lot. Highlighting the Bulldogs' defense is Juju Hughes, the second-team All-Mountain West honoree combined with Jaron Bryant to tally 56 career starts and nine interceptions. Following a season where Fresno State's defense held opponents to 14.1 points per game, the Bulldogs anticipate another season leaning on its stingy defense. My IQ, my, my knowledge for the game, you know, I'm real instinctive. I see a lot before it happens. I study a lot. Um, a leader on the field. Um, I've always been one of the leaders. Um, it's always how I kind of carry myself. He has great football instincts. You know, he's very smart. Um, he's a hard guy to block. Uh, he understands what's going on. He's a tough guy. He does things the right way. Uh, he's a very good tackler. And he has the respect of his teammates, um, not just on the defensive side of the ball, but on the entire team. After opening the season against Pac-12 opponent USC, Fresno State will host the Minnesota Golden Gophers and Sacramento State. Then the Bulldogs will open up conference play on October 12th at Air Force. Since Jeff Tepford's return to Fresno State, the Bulldogs are 5-0 against California opponents. The road to a third straight 10-plus win season goes through Los Angeles, California as Fresno State kicks off the season against the Trojans. You know, we're going to the Coliseum this year and USC is is going to be a major test for us. We have a lot of respect for who they are and the tradition of the Trojans and the Coliseum. So it's going to, uh, it's going to be a major test for us, and um, that's what we're working hard towards right now. Obviously, where we stand amongst the teams here in California, uh, I think it's a big thing for the program. Being a Cali kid myself, you know, you grow up watching SC, especially our era. You know, we grew up on watching Reggie Bush play and whatnot. So, you know, it's exciting for us just to go play in the Coliseum, get this opportunity. Uh, we want to be one of the teams to be able to say we won in the Coliseum. So we're looking forward to it. So there have been a lot of names that got a lot of attention the last couple of years, but the common denominator in the success for Fresno State has been the whole of the defensive side of the ball. It has been an impressive unit that's been in the top of the national rankings two years running. And there's nothing that tells me that's going to change this year. Tons of experience in the secondary, coaching continuity, 
a lot of talent at the linebacker position, even though they're new to those spots, and some real depth on the defensive line. And the biggest thing, this coaching staff, Jeff Tedford has done an incredible job. He and his staff are on the same page. And anything short of another division title and conference championship game will be a disappointment for us. Paul, thanks for joining our Countdown to Kickoff series. Mark your calendars to watch the Bulldogs at the Trojans on August 31st at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. This feature has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Tamara Brown. <laughs>